Uh, I believe Elon made a donation in my honor on one of, the, one of the years. Did Elon Musk accidentally predict Johnny Depp's victory in the six-week-long Depp versus Heard trial? We've got all the details here. Watch the video to find out. For several weeks, the trial of the two movie stars has captivated the public, often eliciting violent and passionate reactions on social media in favor of one or the other. It's now coming to a close. A source close to Elon Musk's legal team confirmed to CNN that Musk would not testify in Johnny Depp's defamation trial against his ex-wife Amber Heard. Musk was named as a potential remote witness for Heard in the trial. He began dating Heard shortly after she and Depp divorced. A source declined to comment on why Musk was no longer on the list of witnesses. CNN has reached out to Heard's spokesperson for comment. He said nothing negative about him and had a very balanced attitude toward the ex-couple. I hope they both move on. They're all fantastic when they're at their best, he wished. The business magnate was conspicuously absent from the explosive trial, which revealed both positive and negative information about the ex-celebrity couple. Between 2016 and 2018, Heard and Musk are thought to have dated on and off, and the SpaceX CEO was nominated to her jury list. Heard's counsel stated during opening arguments that Depp was obsessed with Musk. The former spouse's agent, Christian Carino, previously testified at the trial that Heard was seeing Musk at the same time she was trying to reconcile with her husband. Musk avoided a schism after learning that Depp was gaining popularity and triumphing in the public eye. However, However, Amber Heard, who lost her case against Johnny Depp, was not pleased with his decision. Elon Musk has finally spoken out about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard, now that their messy, sensational six-week defamation trial has concluded and he didn't take sides. I hope they both get over it. At their best, they are each incredible, Musk tweeted on Saturday, who dated Heard in the past. Musk's tweet was in response to a Friday tweet by MIT research scientist and podcaster Lex Friedman. Here are my key takeaways from the Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. Number one, fame is a powerful drug for some. Number two, psychiatrists and lawyers have widely disparate levels of expertise. Number three, humans are capable of deceiving millions of people. Number four, love can be unruly. And number five, gallons of wine. We have to believe that Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, was among those who listened to the trial's often moving testimony. One of the potential witnesses, a billionaire, has just given his opinion on the case. After her divorce from Johnny Depp, the tech tycoon dated Heard for a short time. According to Terence Doherty, the nonprofit's general counsel and chief operating officer, he also donated at least 50000 to the American Civil Liberties Union, ACLU, in Heard's name. In a pre-recorded deposition played in Depp's defamation trial against Heard last month, Doherty stated that the ACLU received 500000 from a donor-advised fund at Vanguard. He went on to say that he believes the money came from a fund set up by Musk, who had emailed the ACLU's executive director, Anthony Ramiro, in 2016. At their best, each of them is incredible. Heard had promised to donate her entire divorce settlement from Depp to two charities, the ACLU and Children's Hospital Los Angeles. Musk finally broke his silence on May 27th after remaining silent for the first six weeks of the trial. It all started with a tweet from broadcaster Lex Friedman, a jab at Amber Heard. Here are Elon Musk's key takeaways from Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial. First, fame is a powerful drug for some. Second, psychiatrists and lawyers have wildly disparate levels of expertise. Finally, humans are capable of deceiving millions of people. Elon Musk and Amber Heard first met in 2012. Heard and Musk met on the set of Machete Kills in 2013. Heard played Miss San Antonio, Blanca Vasquez in the film, and Musk made a cameo appearance. Romance begins in 2016 after two to three years. Heard's divorce from ex-husband Johnny Depp was finalized in 2016. Musk's divorce from ex-wife Tallulah Riley was finalized the same year. It was reported at the time that the Rum Diary actor and Tesla CEO became romantically involved during this time. According to Amber Heard, testimony on May 16th, she met Musk on the red carpet of the 2016 Met Gala, had no idea who he was and thought of him as a gentleman. On April 24, 2017, her Insta page, Heard posted a photo of herself and Musk with the caption, Cheeky, and became an Instagram official. How did Johnny win the defamation case? A jury found Amber Heard liable for 
defaming Johnny Depp in an op-ed published in the Washington Post, and Depp liable for a statement his attorney made to the Daily Mail calling her claims a hoax. Depp received a total of $15 million in damages, while Heard received $2 million. While the jury determined that Depp should receive $10 million in compensatory damages and $5 million in punitive damages, the judge stated that state law caps punitive damages at $350,000, so Depp's total award would be $10.35 million. The disappointment I feel today is beyond words, Heard said in a statement posted on Twitter and Instagram. The jury gave me my life back, Depp said in an Instagram statement. The verdict marked the conclusion of a dramatic trial in the civil suit that exposed the star's troubled marriage. On June 1, 2022, Amber Heard reacted to the verdict after a Virginia jury ruled in favor of Johnny Depp in his libel lawsuit against Heard, who accused him of abuse. Depp sued Heard in Virginia's Fairfax County Circuit Court for $50 million for an op-ed she wrote in the Washington Post in December 2018, describing herself as a public figure representing domestic abuse. His lawyers claimed that the article defamed him despite the fact that it never mentioned his name. Heard countersued for $100 million, claiming Depp's lawyer defamed her by dismissing her abuse allegations as a hoax. The jury informed Judge Penny Askerit that they had reached a verdict early in the afternoon. Still, the reading of the verdict was delayed so that they could fill out the jury form with the number of monetary awards. According to CBS News legal contributor Jessica Levinson, the mixed verdict indicates that the jury considered each of the six statements separately and took the defamation's claims seriously. It wasn't just a case of, we like Johnny Depp, we don't like Amber Heard, she said, noting that Depp won on all three statements in his suit and Heard won on one of her counterclaim. I think the bottom line is that the jury found they both lied, Levinson said. Depp stated in his statement, regardless of the outcome, the goal of bringing this case was to reveal the truth. Speaking the truth was something I owed to my children and to everyone who has continued to support me. I'm relieved that I finally completed that task. Heard stated in her statement that she is disappointed that she lost the case, but even more disappointed that I appear to have lost a right I thought I had as an American to speak freely and openly. In addition, she believes the verdict is harmful to women and the treatment of domestic violence victims. After six weeks of disturbing and sometimes graphic testimony, the jury began deliberations on Friday afternoon. Depp and Heard both testified twice. The jury also heard extensive recordings that attorneys claimed showed violent behavior and saw text messages between Depp and fellow actor Paul Bettany, which discussed substance abuse and contained obscene language. Heard's sister testified that she saw Depp strike her, and a friend testified that he saw bruises and cuts. Supermodel Kate Moss also made an appearance via video link, adding to the spectacle as broadcast cameras in the courtroom captured every twist for an increasingly wrapped audience as fans weighed in on social media and queued overnight for coveted courtroom seats. On Friday, closing arguments were delivered. By the time the court adjourned for lunch, jurors had heard from attorneys for both Depp and Heard, who had combined 45 minutes later Friday afternoon to present rebuttal closings. Later that day, the case was sent to the jury, bringing to a close six weeks of courtroom drama that revealed the star's troubled marriage. The jury was instructed to consider where there was abuse and whether Heard op-ed piece was legally defamatory. The article itself focuses primarily on domestic violence policy issues. Still, Depp's lawyer points to two passages in the article, as well as an online headline that they believe are relevant and defame Depp. Let us know what you think in the comments down below. As always, like and subscribe to never miss out on the latest happenings in the world of pop culture.